If you were to look for confidence within markets, the move in terms of the 10-year Treasury yields towards a downside stands in stark contrast to the sharp volatility that we saw in the wake of the mini-budget. So that is a vote of confidence in Rishi Sunak. However, if you look elsewhere, if we've seen the pound, that's not necessarily done that well today. We've actually seen it lose ground against the likes of the euro alongside uh, some sideways movement against the US dollar. So we're not necessarily seeing this massive vote of confidence in terms of the wider economic picture here in the UK. And in actual fact, what we need from a prime minister at the moment is someone that shows their willingness to be able to be agile and steer the country through a very difficult time. We don't necessarily know how it's going to play out. And ultimately, many of the countries around the world are faced with the same problems. Certainly, if you look at his time as chancellor, Rishi Sunak has been willing to operate in a way that perhaps his predecessors haven't had to, with the likes of the furlough scheme and the like. And therefore, he certainly does look well equipped to be able to, again, be relatively agile and just deal with what is ahead of him to try and move through at this period. The UK economy still remains in trouble, but certainly if you're looking at the, the potential for another sort of catastrophe like we saw around Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng, it seems like markets in terms of yields are, are signalling some confidence that that won't happen again.